in this video, I want to take you to some settings that will make your iPhone or iPad much more friendly for you. Okay, to start, I'm going to go to the settings app. So you can see on my phone, I keep the settings app in the bottom right corner because I use it so often. But if you don't have it there or if you don't know where the settings app is, remember what we just did in the previous video was we put our finger in the center of the screen and we drag down. And now we can search for any app that we're now we can search for any app that we're looking for. So I'm going to type settings and that's going to come up and I'm just going to tap it. Now, once you're in the settings app, you may see the search box at the top or you may see no search box at all. If you don't see the search box, you just have to drag down on the screen. Just like you got the search box on your home screen, you can get it on the settings screen as well. So now that I've got the search box, I'm going to tap on it and I'm going to search for flash. Okay. And I'm going to go to LED flash for alerts. And this is a great feature of the, of the iPhone. And it's uh, here in the bottom here under visual LED flash for alerts. I've already got it on. So you can see that that's on. If yours is off, you just need to tap it and that will turn it on. And so basically what this does is whenever I get a text message or I get a phone call or something, it will actually flash the flashlight on the back of the phone. And so uh, maybe I'm in a, a loud environment where I can't hear my phone ringing or I've got it on silent and uh, perhaps I didn't realize I had it on silent. But if I have this LED, flash alerts it will flash so i know somebody's trying to text message me somebody's trying to call me or get my attention so that's a great setting to have that will just make your phone a little bit more friendly for you okay uh, i'm going to come out of this screen by tapping in the top left corner it says accessibility and it'll go back to all of the accessibility settings. I'm going to tap it one more time to go back to settings. And you can see that I'm still in the search screen. So I'm going to tap the X to clear the search. And this time I want to search for control center. Okay. And just type in a few letters and it probably will appear at the top of the page. So let me just tap on that. Okay. Just to remind you. When, when you swipe down from the top right edge, you'll open Control Center. So um, I've got the option turned on to access within apps. So if I swipe down now, I'll bring up the Control Center. Okay. And what Control Center is, is it's a, a whole bunch of different shortcuts for applications and functions and settings on your phone. So let me swipe up to get rid of that. What I want you to do is if you scroll down to the bottom, you see more controls and you see all of these different things have plus buttons next to them. Okay. So I just want you to tap the plus button next to all of these different controls that look like they would be useful to you. Okay. So I am right now going to tap on the magnifier okay and when I tap on that plus button it moves up into the list above and this list are all of the controls that I have installed in control center okay so go ahead and tap all of the plus buttons for the controls that you want to add if you don't already have them I suggest you add the camera the flashlight, dark mode, text size, low power mode, the alarm timer, and stopwatch. Okay, and any of these other features that you think would be helpful to you, go ahead and add them to Control Center.
Okay, let me swipe up from the bottom edge to get out of Control Center, go back to my home screen. Okay, now I want to show you Control Center. So I'm going to swipe down from the top left edge of the screen, and I get Control Center. You can see here, it's, it's very busy. I've got a lot of different controls. So if you don't like the look of this where there's too many things, you can actually take them out uh, in that setting screen. You can minus them off of here. But a few things I want you to notice is, first I want you to notice uh, in the top left corner, there's a box with four icons. You've got the airplane, the cellular signal, the Wi-Fi signal, and the Bluetooth signal. So those are all of your um, communication settings. Okay, so if you wanted to turn any of those on or off, you could just tap those buttons. To the right of that, it says not playing. Well, that's my media controls. So if I was playing music, I could just tap here for to play or pause or to go to the next song or the previous song. Okay, and then I've got a, a, another set of all kinds of different controls here. Okay, so right below that now playing, you see two, two controls that are taller than the rest of the controls. Okay, the one on the left is brightness. So I can drag this slider up and make my screen brighter. You can see I've got three buttons on the bottom that do other things. So when I'm done setting the brightness, I can just tap on the screen and it'll come back here. Okay, so actually on this screen, I can just drag on the little slider here to make the screen brighter or dimmer. But if I hold on it a little bit, it opens up into full screen mode where I have more options. Okay, so let me just tap on the screen um, away from this slider and it'll go back to the control center. Okay, you can see right next to that, to the right, I've got the volume control. Okay, so if you ever wanted a quick way to adjust the volume on your phone and kind of be granular with it, all you have to do is from your home screen, drag down from the top left corner and just drag the slider up or down to make it louder or softer. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down a little bit here. And I've got all these little square buttons at the bottom. And you probably noticed the camera. Okay, these buttons are shortcuts to different features or different applications on your phone. So I like having the camera here because sometimes I can't find where the camera is on my, on my phone, but if I just swipe down into Control Center, I know the camera button will always be there, and I can just tap that button, and it'll take me instantly into the camera. Okay, let me swipe down again. Another very useful thing to have here is the flashlight. So I could just tap the flashlight and it'll turn it on uh, and it'll light my way. So that's very useful, especially at night when you wake up and you're gonna go to the bathroom or something, grab your phone, turn on the flashlight uh, and you won't stub your toe like I've done a million times. Okay, I want to show you a, a few more settings that I've got here. So right next to the flashlight to the right is something called dark mode. Okay, so let me come back to the home screen. And you can see that my calendar is white, very bright. And right below that, I've got my email. And that's also white, very bright. And sometimes it can be hard to look at all these 
you know, these bright white screens. And so that's where dark mode comes in. So if I drag down to control center and I tap the dark mode icon, it will change to dark mode. So let me go to my home screen now. And you can see that those sections that were formerly really white and bright and, and almost, uh, almost hurting your eyes because they're so bright. Now they've turned to dark mode where the dominant color is black and the text is white on top of that. Dark mode might be easier for you to read. And so it's a, it's a setting that I suggest you try out and see if you like it. My personal feeling is that I prefer dark mode so I use it almost exclusively on my phone. Okay, I'm gonna drag Control Center down again, and I want to show you the next button next to dark mode is text size, okay? And so none of us is getting younger, right? So if you wanted to make the text on your phone bigger, you could just drag the slider up, and you could see the word text size got bigger. So let me drag it down back to default and get out of here. And I'll just go to the Messages app. Okay, and here's my conversation with Joan. You can see that the text is relatively small, kind of the normal size for the iPhone. But let me now drag down Control Center, go to the text size, and bump it up to the max. Okay, now let me tap out of here and get out of Control Center. Now you can see the text on my on my messages, my text messages are much bigger, much easier to read. So that's a setting that I might suggest. You might want to try a larger text size just to make your phone a little bit more friendly to use, a little bit easier to read everything. Okay, so those are a few settings you can change from Control Center. There's a lot more there that you can play with and experiment with, but I just wanted to give you this introduction to Control Center.